Gaffey. And today, I would like to thank Miss Nina Wilson. She invited me to her podcast last weekend. She has put out a book called Let's Get Unstuck. This is her book. And she invited me as a guest. And she said so many wonderful and positive things that it was very encouraging. And I wanted to return the favor and let you all know that she's out here and she's speaking and talking to people about their lives and how to get moved how to move out of a place of complacency and how to move forward and rise up and go out and fulfill your purpose. Once again, Ms. Nina Wilson, I thank you. And I would like to take this time to share some footage of that podcast. And I'm going to present that to you now. Okay, well, Doc B, if it's okay if I refer That's to fine. you as, as such. Um, now, this is... Uh, let's get unstuck and get your mojo back. Now, I'm not sure if you're familiar. I think I told you prior to when we were talking prior to, you know, the show get, getting going, mm -hmm. uh, mojo stands for more joy. So today is your day to get your more joy by okay. promoting your Black Man's Mountain, this uh, awesome book. But also, were there moments when you felt stuck because you are a black man in America and you are writing about uh, other, you know, your brothers, your peers. So were there moments where you felt stuck? I, I can remember in college, I took a course that uh, was a business course mm -hmm. and the professor, the course was subjective. In other words, the answer to A, number one was A, number two was B. He just said, you're going to write two papers. Uh, midterm, you just write a paper. Tell me about management by objectives. Mm -hmm. So I just wrote and wrote and wrote, turning. I said, this is easy. Well, he failed me. I went to him. D is failing in college. Mm -hmm. I went to him after class and I said, I'm going to take you again. I don't know why you failed me. I'm going to take you again. He's like, well, oh, okay. He was an uh, older white man. So I took the course again, wrote page after page, just covered it. He failed me again. Interesting thing happened. I was looking at my report card, walking down the campus. I couldn't believe it. I looked at my grade, and I looked up, and he was walking right next to me. And he grabbed his briefcase and crunched down. And immediately, I realized that mm. he knew that he purposely offended me and mm. that he thought I was going to retaliate. And I just kept walking with a tear in my eye. And I realized that this man, for some reason, doesn't feel like I should be at this school, that I should not be trying to uh, better myself. Um, I took the class a third time, yeah. uh -huh. and I just sat in the back this time. And I was wondering what's going to happen. Another white teacher just sat in the back and went through, and it was more objective. And I got an A for the class. Wow. And I was like, I got through that. Mm -hmm. But um, the summary of my story is there are barriers in place that, we're not aware of. Many young black men are not aware of Absolutely. that people do not want you to succeed. They do not want you to excel in this particular area. Absolutely. And if you don't fight properly, mm -hmm. you can end up as a statistic mm -hmm. or in jail because right. you want to fight. You're angry. You want to. You want to do this, mm -hmm. and that's what they expect, and that's what's going to destroy you. Anyway, let me. You have to stop, Mayor. I'm going to. That's okay. Keep on going. <laughs> I understand. Um, I I just wanted to know, you know, you're, we all have stuck moments. And uh, to write about the black, the struggle of the black man in America and you being a black man, uh, it's, it's kind of, yeah, we you have those stuck moments, but then you're the elephant in the middle of the room. You are the actual elephant that's in the middle of the room. As you're talking about it, people are wondering, you know, What's your story? What's your stuck story? Because this is not necessarily your bio per se. This is about, you know, the black man. That's correct. And, and self actualization and, and, and esteem and love and belonging and safety and psychological and on and on and on with Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Oh, by the way, speaking of that, for those who don't know, the front of uh, Dr. Shores or Doc V's book. Uh, has Maslow's hierarchy of needs, and for those who haven't never heard of that, Maslow's big mouthful, okay? Maslow's theory. Explain what that yes, means. Maslow's theory okay. is based on a pyramid where each level 
every human being has a, a, a level, physiological, safety, love and belonging, esteem, and then self-actualization. Okay, so it's One like the reverse built. order? Or? Well, your physiological needs are at the bottom. Right. They're the basis okay, yes. for everything else. And then the safety needs are right. the basis for anything above it. Okay. And his theory states that all human beings have these needs. And the basic need has to be taken care of before you can go up to the success of need up to self-actualization. And I found okay. that very interesting. Okay. And my dissertation topic was the African-American male and his position on Maslow's hierarchy. And through research, I found that men, black men, were stuck on levels one and two. Okay. After you find That's out where you next live question. and what you're going to eat. Yes. And then you're struggling with that. You don't have time for really relationships to be... I see it coming together. You know, strong and to launch you up into other areas. Absolutely. And again, we're talking to Dr. Von Shores, his book, The Black Men's Mountain. And he's um, really done a wonderful job explaining how psychologically and physiologically and I would say also spiritually, wouldn't you say? The spiritual aspect, I try not to beat people over the head with it, but sometimes it just comes out of me. To succeed and to excel up the, up the uh, mass most need hierarchy, there's a spiritual part. Okay. A, I mean, I pray. I pray and read scripture every day. And I remember how I was taught. I remember one time where I was arrested. Uh, I remember time being attacked. I remember a time where my car got repossessed. And I realized that something beyond the physical is trying to destroy me. Something is trying to destroy me. And at that point, I remember uh, my roommate in college. He used to get on his knees and pray every morning. And I remembered him. And from that point on, this was like 2007, from that point on, I said, I'm going to pray every night, wow. and I'm going to pray every morning, and wow. I'm going to read my scripture. And without fail, every day, mm -hmm. that is something that I practice, because I realize that we're in a spiritual battle. Right. And we might see this man attacking me. You might see this situation, or this institution trying to pull, pull me down, or the family breaking down, but... It's spiritual warfare. Spiritual Otherwise, warfare. Otherwise, I have to pray. That's right. And I have to have my faith strong no matter what it looks like, and I have to keep pushing forward. Mm -hmm. And I could go on and on exactly. how God has brought me up All right to now. the place where I am Bring now. it on. But I'm going to calm down <laughs> right now it. so I don't get too happy Absolutely. with it, you know, and start yes. throwing. Well, you know, you know this uh, particular platform, uh, Get Unstuck, is about, you know, moving past the elephants in the middle of the room so that when others see you, they're not looking at a black man. They're looking at a man. Or even better, a it's man true. of God. You know, so true. but we're trying to move past those uh, obstacles, as I call it, um, obstacles, so yeah. that you know other younger black men won't continue to self sabotage because they see you um, up here at the top, self actualizing. Uh, we're trying. We're, we're, yeah, we're absolutely, trying to... absolutely. And so when younger black men they see you, they can model what they see rather than again, you know, being their own, as I call it, worst enemy. So let's, you know, de, de what is it, destigmatize you and uh, help you not to be that elephant in the middle of the room well by um, telling you how to get this book because it's necessary. You need to get it. Well, I have to get used to uh, doing videos with other people. again, Nina. What an excellent job and an excellent presentation. I thank you, and I hope that we can do more work together in the future. I'm Doc V. I'll see you next time.